my mind was going, oh my God! So I was performing at the Royal Opera House last year and then I got an invitation via my manager from the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra at the Winds at Windsor Castle and I said yes and uh, when I got there it, during the rehearsal it was then I was told that actually His Majesty was going to be there. A few months later I was actually here where I am right now in Vienna. And yes, it was confirmed that His Majesty himself would like me to come and perform uh, for, uh, at his coronation. My mind was going, oh my God! But my heart was like, yes! I feel excited. I feel like it was yesterday when I got the invitation and time has just, poof, in just a few, 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 few days or hours, I would say. And I'll be at the Westminster Abbey and uh, singing and uh, 22 years ago i think collectively i might have sung for quite a few billions of souls but not at once i never thought that i wanted to be an idol or to be an inspiration or to be famous i feel very very honored that one day when i'm long and forgotten <laughs> generations from generations from now they would look back and remember the name pretty and the girl from the tip of africa but in my heart we are ready for this, we are prepared for this, we were born for this. <laughs> I was allowed to propose what I would like to give and together we came up with uh, amazing, amazing um, uh, possibilities which will, be, which will be heard at the coronation. Of course, now it has been announced that I will actually sing for the first time under the sun, <laughs> this new composition by Sarah Klaas. I think it's going to be uh, quite quite unique, quite um, powerful. I must say that I was a bit gentler about myself, about preparing for it. Normally I would learn so quickly because of time, but because I, I you know, I, I really wanted to take a different approach this time, you know, to give to so many people all, all at once. So my approach was to really maybe learn two phrases and leave it and think about the phrases and leave it and then work at it gently, much gentlier than I would normally do. Thank you, Pretty, for not giving up. <laughs> I am so grateful because if you gave up when somebody said, no, you're not good enough. No, stop, you're not good enough. No, that's not good enough. No, it's not enough. If you had given up when you fell, if you had given up when things didn't go the way the thing you thought they would go, you never gave up. All the days you cried yourself to sleep and woke up the following day, wiped those tears, took your smile, and went into the rehearsal room and tried and tried and tried and tried. Thank you for that.